Welcome as you join us in an exciting Dominion Power Kingdom Experience Holy Spirit Authority Pack Session brought to you by Global Diplomat College Center and Forbes Global. Now, as you join us in this online Kingdom of God seminar now in progress with God's Holy Prophet and Ambassador of the Kingdom of Heaven, Joseph Forbes, we are transforming students into leaders and leaders into agents of change. Before we continue, please subscribe to this channel and give us a thumbs up. Power of Kingdom Righteousness Part 2 there are two kingdom objectives. One, Christianity have misunderstood Jesus Christ. Two, the kingdom of God is the only message Jesus preached. Wow. We are going to focus on this session. The subject power of kingdom righteousness part two you cannot translate or interpret the holy bible without going through a kingdom concept if you translate or you interpret the Holy Bible and do not go through a kingdom concept all of your results will become error write this down please I want you to read it for yourself this is Jesus Christ top priority what was in his heart and what was in his mind his original idea but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added to you the word seek mean priority Jesus Christ priority the most important thing that you should do before any other thing the largest religion on planet earth Christianity have misunderstood Jesus Christ Jesus Christ is the most misunderstood person on earth especially by Christians that's a shock for you Ruku Shata Murubu Hila Bakanta let the Holy Ghost speak right now to you let him minister to your heart proceed pursue inquire discover search run after go forth the kingdom and his righteousness and all these things shall be added to you automatically everything these things what are these things what human motivation what humans seek where you gonna live what you gonna drink where you gonna eat what you gonna put on your body what you gonna drive they seek things all of these things they seek I want to make a few statements this is powerful heavy stuff I want to make a few statements to you Bishop pastors prophets superintendent you church leaders you I want to make a few statement to you do you not know that every page on four gospel in the four gospel Matthew Mark Luke and John every page Jesus keep on repeating 
over and over again the same message. The kingdom have come. The kingdom have come. The kingdom have arrived to a planet called Earth. Wow. Write this down, please. Remember Isaiah, the prophet, God prophet. God in sundry time in diverse manners spake in time past through the prophet. Remember Isaiah, the prophet, prophesy about he saw the government of God about to come to it. Isaiah 9, 6 and KJV for unto us every human every man that is born every woman unto us a child is born which name is Jesus Christ a son is given Mary birth a supernatural child God gave the son a son is given and the government you're the government. Now notice what he said, T-H-E. That's mean the other. But there only one kingdom government. And the government will be upon his shoulder. And his name shall be called One. Wonderful. I want to define the word wonderful. What is name? I want to define his name. Because Christianity misunderstands Jesus. I want to clarify and define his name for 500 years. Christianity, 5,000 years. Christianity have misunderstood Jesus Christ. Wow. The word wonderful means extraordinary, good. Good, G-O-O-D Means great, fantastic, incredible, marvelous, tremendous, extraordinary, highly unusual, remarkable. Now what? Jesus who is God. He's a person like, what is like? He's kind. He treat others with respect. He is compassionate. He don't judge no one. He don't hurt no one. He helps all who need. He is honest and is full of truth. <laughs> wow. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. And his name shall be called Wonderful Consulate. Two, consulate. Three, mighty God. Four, everlasting Father. Five, Prince of Peace. He shall be called Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his what? Government. Isaiah 9, 7 and KJV. Of the increase of his government of peace. There ain't no peace in America. No, in 196 nations. But his government is a government of peace. There shall be no end upon the throne of David and over his kingdom to order it, to establish it with judgment, justice from that time forth and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord God of hosts have spoken it. The Lord means, when he used the word Lord, it means king. The Lord of hosts means the commanding chief of him, heaven's army. His government, there shall be no end. But his government shall increase. God's original plan is to extend, to establish his heavenly, holy, righteous kingdom from the unseen through the Holy Spirit who is unseen in the heart of every human 
who living on the scene. He has a government of peace. His government has no end. His government will be increased. In every nation, all over the world, Jesus Christ never bring a religion to it. He bring a kingdom government. I say that again. Jesus Christ never bring Islam, never bring Christianity, never bring Buddhism or Hinduism or Judaism. He never bring Scientology. He never bring Church of the Latter Day Saints. He never ever bring a religion to it. But he brought a kingdom. Wow. Jesus Christ never bring a religion to it. The kingdom of God is a country. One, the kingdom will be restored back to humanity, to administrative duty. You shall be restored back in the kingdom to God's kingdom in administrative duty. Three, seek first, get back, get your citizenship of God's kingdom, seek His righteousness, seek His government, seek His law. You must obey His law in the kingdom. Jesus Christ is called the law of God. What is called? The law of God. Now I want to define His righteousness. The word righteousness means right standing with authority, right positioning, right alignment with authority. The word righteous mean right fellowship. The word righteous mean, mean right fulfillment of alignment. You gotta fulfill the king requirements. Do you not know that you must obey the law to remain in good standing with a government. If you break the law in America, you are called a criminal. A criminal means that you will violate the regulation of the country. You lose your privilege. For example, the law say every motorist or everyone to drive a vehicle must have a, uh, have a insurance insurance responsibility must have their car insurance now if you drive the car without an insurance you violate the law of your country the law say you have stopped at the red light when the light is on red and when it's on green you go if you go when it is on red you are unrighteous you sin against your country you violate the law. To live in a, every country, you must obey its law. Jesus Christ first inaugurated message, Matthew 4, 17. From that time on, Jesus began to preach. Now, Jesus never preached what the Pope preached. Jesus never preached what Christianity preached. Jesus began to preach what was his message. Repent. Change your mind. Every human has two minds. A conscious mind and a subconscious mind. Change your heart. Going to the altar and all those altar called Billy Graham and many other uh, evangelical and other preachers preach and they made it was illegal to the Bible. Go to the altar and say this in a prayer. Your heart is not changed. Your mind is not changed. Repentance means to change your heart and your mind. Why? Because the kingdom, a government, have come to earth. God bring a government to earth. The message of Jesus Christ is a kingdom from heaven on earth in the hearts of every human 
every man on earth. This kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. John saw this kingdom and I saw the holy city. That's what the kingdom of God is, the holy city coming down out of God, out of heaven from God. It's coming down. Christianity teach that you going up to heaven, when we all go up to heaven, when heaven is coming down upon the earth. And it made to be a kingdom of priests unto our God. This kingdom seminar has been brought to you by Global Diplomat College Center to all the ambassadors in the embassy centers. Matthew 24, 14 declares, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nations, then shall the end come. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. We want to thank and appreciate all our subscribers and viewers all over the world. Thank you so much for being partners with us in proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom. If you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe to this channel, Global Diplomat College Center, and click that notification bell for the update videos. God bless you and your families. God bless all the nations of the world. Glory to God alone, King of kings and Lord of lords.